how it is. <clears throat> Hi, and welcome back to another segment of what we like to call Dear Kenny and Neil. Kenny, would you like to take the first question? Okay. Miss Catherine Harris from uh, Tucson, Arizona writes, I've been thinking about getting a boob job. Oh, that's a good idea. How big should I go? Hmm. Well, I don't know. Let's take a look at this question from a scientific perspective. Mm -hmm. If you're a tiny girl and you get yourself a couple of 42 double Ds, that gravity might just pull you over and you'll end up right face first in a pile of cow dung like Kenny did after a bender the other night. Uh, we would suggest Seeing a boardified, uh, sir, excuse me. A boardified? A boardified. A board certified plastic surgeon. But don't go and skimp. Get yourself a nice pair of real knockers there and send us a picture. Oh, yeah. Picture's the most important thing. That's right. Now, I, I don't know where. Oh, Tucson. Now, that's a pretty fancy city. I was going to say, if you if you live down in a, near Little Rock or something, you might want to go, you know, to a bigger city because, um, <clears throat> you know, some some doctors have a trailer and they try to do boob jobs in their trailer. It, you get what you pay for is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, we gave up that line of business. Yeah, there was a little bit of trouble there. A lot of trouble. Yeah. Yeah, we had to leave town. Yeah, we're back. Okay. All right, next question. It's oh, your turn. Okay, well, uh, Joe Bob Miller from Paragould, Arkansas writes, How fast is too fast for an El Camino? I'm going to let you answer that one. Well, first of all, my first thought is, your El Camino can't be too fast because uh, the women are always going to catch up with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Why would you? Why on earth would you want to go fast in an El Camino? Good you know point. those cars as chick magnets. Hell yeah. Take your time. You know? Cruise low and slow. That's right. Two in the front, six in the back. All That's right. what we say. All right. I'll let you take this next one. Here. Okay, let's see. Ted Churchill from Florence, Alabama. He writes... I got me some new fancy tennis shoes that keep making squeaking noises that sound like farts. Oh, what can I do? That's a tough question. <laughs> that sucks. Well, I don't know. I wouldn't want no shoe trying to upstage my farts either. No. That, in fact, let me demonstrate uh, right you here. You got one coming? I do. Oh, no. That way. No. Oh. 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 Neil. Damn it, Neil. Well. I'll get you back. I say, uh. We let the good people from Converse answer this question. That's right. This question is sponsored by Converse All-Star. Yep, get yourself some of these. Woohoo! Yeah. That's right. Squeak free since 93. And women dig them. Okay, next question. Uh, let's see. Well, Becky Gentry from Perth, Australia writes, How do I tell my parents I want to marry my cousin? Well, good day, Becky. Good day. That's right. Well, you know, according to Wikipedia, whose answers are dubious at best. Uh, what's that mean? Dubi? Dubious. Dubious. Oh, that okay. Means uh, that it, they may I don't be. Know what that means? They may not be uh, a correct answer. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, <clears throat> Becky, uh, one in every ten mess <laughs> messages, one in every ten marriages in the world is between first and or second cousins. Uh, you know, uh, it wasn't. Uh, wasn't uh, Charles Darwin married to his cousin? Sure was. That's right. Yep. They named the city after him. That's right. Up in that North Territory there. In Australia. Right. In Australia. That's Who right. Was? Jerry Lee Lewis. Jerry Lee Lewis. Yep. Great balls of fire. That's right. Natives, he had great balls of fire son. for his cousin. That's right. You know, I think what we would suggest is get yourself some of that nice, nice Australian beer and lubricate your parents' gray matter a bit there. But uh, you know, some good advice might be to hide your daddy's gun. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Might get in trouble there. Yeah. Just yeah. make sure the gun ain't around when you tell him. I think the more important question is, is your cousin a girl or a boy? Well, <laughs> that's a good question. Yeah. If she was a girl, that'd, that, be, that'd be hot. That'd be pretty hot. Yeah. yeah. Me and Neil, we thought about getting married once, but... Uh, Strictly for tax purposes. Tax purposes only, that's of only, course. Yeah. You know, we'd save a lot of taxes, you know, on the trailer. You're not uh, far... Oh, oh sorry. I, get, what, okay. Next question. Is there any other questions? Actually, that's it that's for it questions for today. today. All right, great. Now, what what should we have people comment on? Let's see. What was the first? Oh, boob job. Yeah. Um, how big should it be? How big should they be? Mm -hmm. um, uh, how fast is too fast for an El Camino? Let us know your answer in the comments. No such thing, no, to be honest, well, in, as far yeah. as I'm concerned, but okay. Um, and then uh, 
the shoes. You can comment what's your favorite kind of shoes or how do you stop them from sounding like farts? That's right. Well, you know, some shoes are just plain squeaky. I, I you know, I, I remember reading a, a Peanuts comic one time where they said... Uh, you can read? Uh, yeah, I, a little bit. Um, comics. Uh, they, uh, you know, uh, your shoes will squeak until they're paid for. So, you know, <laughs> if you put that on credit, they might be squeaking and sounding like farts right there. Okay, right. but yeah, you go ahead and comment on that. And then comment, if you're married to your cousin, you go ahead, we need to talk to you. Yeah, we, we want you on our show. We want you to comment for sure, but you need to email us too, because we want to do an interview. Um, and anybody can email us, especially if you want an interview with us, that'd be a lot of fun. That's right, well, go to KenyaNeal.com, send us a message, or find us on uh, Facebook, on Kenny and Neil. Uh, we're on Twitter and Instagram. That's right, Kenny and Neil, uh, it's at Kenny and Neil on Twitter. All right, so I okay. Guess that's it. Well, that's it. Thanks for uh, tuning in. All right, we'll see you next time. See you next time. I'm a pole and headed on down to the old fishing hole. Picked up cousin Neil and he jumped in my truck. Said he had a six pack, but hell, that ain't enough.